This is Bowser. Bowser's the one that I was carrying around with me the other day and made a whole bunch of videos of. As you can see, his comb's doing a little better. He got beat up by Cheswick. Cheswick is the one that I rescued from a fighting ring. And this one here, this one right here, this one that's being poked, he decided he was going to antagonize Cheswick. And I've had Cheswick since summer, since early summer, in several months now. And after two months, Cheswick was pretty much rehabilitated. But this one decided last week that he was just going to do nothing but antagonize Cheswick. So Cheswick turned around and chewed up his comb. But he's doing a lot better now. Maybe, maybe he'll even learn that big chickens shouldn't be messed with and that he shouldn't get in fights with chickens that are much bigger than him. It's usually I usually don't have a problem with fighting though. They're usually pretty good about not doing that sort of thing. Otherwise I would not be able to leave them alone all in the same yard together for hours on end and come home and have them all be alive. But more often than not, I come home and they're all alive. And they're not even beat up because they get along with each other all day long. And this is just one of them. This is just one of them. This is Bowser. I spent a long time trying to figure out what he was. I know he's a bantam because bantam just means small and he's small so of course he's a bantam. But bantam what? I couldn't figure out for the life of me. So come on Bowser, turn around. Come on, turn around. Yes, that is a block of cheese. So when you see him from this side... Let's see if I can... Oh, that light doesn't do anything. But when you see him from this side, you can see he's a little squat. He's a little broad. He's got this face that only a mother can love. The big comb is just from poor breeding. It's not any breed trait at all. Little waddles. And he's got these wide feet. Yes, don't you? Don't you? Look at those feet. <laughs> he's looking over this side of the camera now, so he's looking at himself. Yes, this is. <coughs> that is, in fact, a bell in his name. The bell used to be purple, too. So I think he is a Bantam Cornish. Cornish what? I have no idea, but his sisters... His three sisters and his one brother looked a lot like old English games. So maybe they are Bantam Cornish old English games. I don't know though. But this comb that is flopping over like this, this isn't bad. It doesn't hurt him. His eye on this side is... <laughs> he really wants to look at the camera. But his eye on this side is not being touched by the comb. It's not hurting him. Not at all. This is what happens when you're breeding and breeding and breeding and you have lots of generations that you just don't care about and you're not paying attention to. <coughs> and eventually you're going to get some floppy combs. Say bye bye Bowser. Say bye-bye, Bowser. Yeah.